I'm glad this car didn't break down in the supermarket parking lot. What would we have done if the car had broken down? I don't know. We wouldn't have had enough money to get the car fixed, so we would have walked home. Anyway, here we are. We're home. a new car. I wish we had enough money to buy a new car. Now, what do you mean a new car? A big, beautiful, expensive car. Now, you know that we don't have enough money to buy a new car. But if we had enough money, what kind of a car would you buy? Oh, I might buy a Jaguar or a Mercedes-Benz. I might even buy a limousine and have a chauffeur to drive it. A Jaguar? A Mercedes-Benz? A limousine? You must really be dreaming. Those cars are very expensive. We don't have that much money. Would you buy a Jaguar if we had enough money? Sure I would. And if we had enough money, we could buy a big, beautiful house. It might be big enough for a king to live in it. You're still dreaming. But if we had enough money, we could buy a new house. We could even have three bedrooms. Three bedrooms? We could have seven bedrooms. And there could be an exercise room. We could have seven bedrooms with huge closets really big, big enough that we could have a party in one of them. But why do we need huge closets? I only have two dresses, three pairs of pants, two skirts, five shirts, and maybe five pairs of shoes. And you don't have many clothes either. So why do we need huge closets? If we had a lot of money, we could buy a lot of clothes to fill them. What? And would I buy more days on which to wear those clothes? Oh, don't be silly. You could choose what you want to wear every day. If we had enough money to buy a big house and a Jaguar, we would have enough money to buy lots of clothes. You could have 40 dresses, two dozen shirts, 20 pairs of pants, a dozen skirts, and, well, 20 pairs of shoes. Could I really wear that many clothes? I can't even think about it. We both wear our clothes for so long, we don't need that many. Look at your sweater. You've had this sweater for 10 years and you wear it almost all the time. Look at the sleeves. You've worn them down. One side of the sleeve is a lot longer than the other. If you had a new sweater, that wouldn't happen. What you need is one new good sweater. I wish we had a big color TV. I wish we could buy a boat. I wish we could go to Florida. I wish we had a swimming pool. I wish we had beautiful china and silverware and glasses. Oh, wish, wish, wish. That's all they are. They're just wishes. We have to work. We make enough money to pay our bills if we're very careful. We have a home. It's old and it's small, but it's a place to live. And besides, would we really be happier if we had all of those things? Aren't we happy now? Oh, yes, we are. 
we could keep on like this, but I wonder how life would be if we had them. I wonder. Oh, I hear the mail. I wonder how many bills we have today. Oh, don't talk about bills. I'm still dreaming about a jaguar, a big house, and lots of clothes. Okay, but I bet we have three bills. Well, I guessed three bills, but there are only two here. There is a gas bill, there is a credit card bill, and there's a letter from a lawyer. Do you think this could be a bill? We haven't hired a lawyer. We couldn't hire a lawyer. Because if we hired one, we couldn't pay him. Could somebody be suing us? Why would anybody want to do that? First of all, nobody has any reason to sue us. And second, if anybody did sue us, they couldn't get any money from us because we don't have any. You're right. Why would a lawyer send us a letter? Could he be advertising? I don't know. Well, this is our name on the bill, isn't it? Why don't you open it? Yes, it is. Okay, here goes. Oh, oh, it's from a lawyer of an aunt I scarcely knew, my Aunt Jasmine. I think you talked about her once before, a few years ago. Well, she has died. Oh, that's too bad. I didn't know. If I had known that she had died, I would have gone to the funeral. Or, no, I wouldn't have gone to the funeral because I wouldn't have had any money to go to the funeral. But I would have sent some flowers. But I didn't know that she had died. If we had been writing to each other, I would have known about her death. Oh, that's sad. I wish I had known about it. Well, I hope... Wait a minute. The lawyer wants to see you. You're in your aunt's will. Maybe she left you something. Really? But I didn't know my aunt well, so I'm sure she didn't leave me much. And even if I had known her well, why would she have left me much anyway? Do you think I should even bother to meet this lawyer? Yes, I do. She may have left you a blanket or a chair or $25, but it would be nice to have something to remember her by. And if it were money that she left you, we could eat a meal in a restaurant in her memory, or we could buy something nice to remember her by. Besides, what is the problem with meeting the lawyer? Nothing, I guess. Okay, I'll meet him. Your aunt was a fine woman. Yes, I think she was. I wish I knew more about her. But she lived far away, and we didn't write to each other. Well, she was a very quiet person, but she was very smart and very well organized, and she wasn't poor when she died. And I think she must have liked you very much. If she had not liked you, she wouldn't have included you in her will. And you said in your letter that I was in her will? Yes, that's right. I'm surprised. I never expected that she would leave me anything. I would have expected that she might have left me a little something if I had visited her or I had talked to her. But we didn't communicate with each other, so I didn't expect it. Well, let me read the part of the will that applies to you. 
here it is, and I bequeath the remainder of my estate to my nephew, who I believe has a good heart. That's nice of her. But the remainder of her estate, after she has given things to others, that won't be much, will it? Oh, yes. It's about $1,350,000. Why would she leave you $1,350,000? I don't understand it. If I had visited her every day, if I had taken her out to a park, if I had cooked meals for her, I could understand this. But I never did anything for her. Could you have done something that you had forgotten? No, no way. She lived in Houston, and I lived here. I never had a chance to do anything for her. Well, are you sure this isn't a dream? Ow! No, I'm not dreaming, but I will not believe this is happening before all the money is in our bank account. Until then, I won't do anything different. The money is in our account. I just asked at the bank and they confirmed it. What money? The inheritance from your aunt? All of it? All the money the lawyer said? Yes, all of it. Isn't it amazing? What shall we do with it? Of course, we can spend it. We can buy the things we want. Well, but, but shouldn't we save it? Do you remember what we wished for? What we said we would do if we had enough money? Well, now, this is one time in our life that we have enough money. So we can do it. Let's do it. Now we can buy a big house, uh, a Jaguar car, and Jaguar. lots of clothes. clothes. So let's buy them. Now. We can live the life we have always wanted to live. So let's live it. Well, should we spend all of the money? Shouldn't we save some of it? Let's save some and spend some. If we save it all and we don't spend any, uh, then we'll spend the rest of our lives in that dump. Uh, I'll drive this piece of junk until we die and... and and you'll wear those rags that you're wearing now until you're old and gray. Okay, you're right. Let's save some and let's spend some. Our new life is beginning! That's right. hard to believe that we have this beautiful limousine now. And we have a chauffeur to drive it. Yes, isn't it nice? If we didn't have this car, we would still be driving that old van. And it's hard to believe that we have our big house now, too. It's what I've always dreamed of. Just think, it's all ours. If we weren't living there, we would still be living in our little house. And look at our clothes. If we didn't have these clothes, we would still be wearing those old clothes that we used to wear. That's right.
Thanks, Jim. Please put the car in the garage. Your work is finished for today. We'll drive the Mercedes-Benz tonight. Oh, what a beautiful house. It's the house we've always wanted. restaurant and it is fun to shop in expensive stores but do you ever think back to the days when we were poor yes sometimes I'm glad we don't live that way now aren't you yes I am but still I do think about it sometimes we did have a lot of fun, didn't we? Yes, we did. Hi, Maria. We're going to go change clothes, and could you please bring us coffee on the veranda? Yes, ma'am. Have you noticed that we don't see Bill and Francis much anymore? Well, I hadn't noticed. But you're right. We don't see them much now, do we? No, we don't. They don't call or come to see us often like they used to. And our other friends don't see us much. I wish they visited us more. Do you miss them? Yes, I do. I think that if we didn't live here, they would come to see us more. Bill said that he doesn't feel very comfortable here. Really? You know, this house is costing us a lot of money. Mm-hmm. The taxes on it are $8,000 a year. I know. And the electric bills aren't cheap either. Well, we can afford it. We have the money. You're right, but I'm worried about the future. We could be saving money for our old age instead of spending it on this high living. Yes, we could. And if we weren't living in this expensive house, we would have more money to help people, like the poor, the sick, and the hungry. We could do that if we weren't spending so much money on the house, the car, and these clothes. Yes, that's true. I think we're being selfish. You know, I would feel a lot more comfortable if we had our old friends back. How about you? Our new friends are OK. They're nice people. I didn't mean that they weren't nice people. I just mean that I wouldn't say some things to them that I could say to our old friends. Yes, I understand. But that's the rich life. We see different people now than we would see if we lived the way we did before. But we don't have to live like that. If we lived the way that we used to, we wouldn't have to worry about what we wore or what people thought of us. We could really be ourselves, and we could have our old friends back. You want me over, you say? Uh, yes, Maria. Thank you. Yes, uh, I know what you mean. I guess I miss that, too. Our car and chauffeur are nice. But do we really need them? If we had our old car, we wouldn't have to tell the chauffeur when and where we want to go. We were more independent. And the repair. 
repairs and insurance on the big car are very expensive. Yes, they are. You know, I love this house, but I think we ought to sell it and buy a smaller house. I was thinking the same thing. Do you think we really ought to? We'd be back with our old friends. We would see them more, wouldn't we? We would save a lot of money. You're right, we would. We really don't need this big house, fancy car, and all these clothes. You're right. We would be happier if we sold it. Yes, you're right. We would. So let's do it. Let's sell all of these things. Okay, let's do it. This simple life is great. And how about these clothes? We feel really comfortable in these clothes. If you still had all those uh, dresses and shoes, you wouldn't feel this comfortable. Well, that's true. And the taxes on our new small house are really low. We still had that big, expensive house. Our taxes would be four times as much. And our car. It doesn't need much gas. If we still had that big, expensive car, we would spend a lot of money for gas. You know, we've given a lot of money to the poor this year. Could we have given so much money to the poor if we still had that expensive house and that big expensive car? No, no way. This is the simple life and it's the life for us.